Hey guys, the book that I chose for my book review was Helmet for My Pillow from Paris Island to the Pacific, um, written by Robert Leckie. And this is the book. It was originally published in 1957, and ultimately it is just a memoir of Robert Leckie's time in the military um, during World War II. Um, I did read this entire book from cover to cover, every word on every page. Um, it's only 250 pages, so it's not too bad of a read. So, just jump right into the summary. I have some notes here. If I look down, I don't want to mess anything up. Um, for respect of the military, I don't want to say anything wrong. So, I might butcher some countries, though. <laughs> so, um, our story begins, or the memoir begins, right after Pearl Harbor, um, Robert Lecky enlist in the Marine Corps. He is a sports author where he is originally from. Um, he enrolled, enlists in the Marine Corps um, and is shipped to Paris Island for boot camp. Um, because of his poor rifleman skills that they learned about pretty early on in boot camp, he was assigned to the 5th Regiment of the 1st Marine Division after boot camp and he was sent to New River. Um, he is moved to New River and is placed into a machine gun company um, as a gunman assistant, essentially. And he meets some friends. Um, a couple of their names were Hoosier, Runner, and Chuckler. Um, they were not at his first pair. He wasn't. They were not at Paris Island with him, with him, but they were at New River. Um, so he is shipped out to California after that, where him and his unit um, meet back up. And this is actually where the unit, the Marine unit, stormed the beaches of Guadalcanal. Um, and this is where the Battle of Teneru takes place, where Lecky actually fought on the front line. Um, he actually gets in trouble because his friend was awarded and praised for holding down the front line at the Battle of Teneru. And in reality, it was him. And he was pretty mad about it. <laughs> So he uh, complained and slightly assaulted an officer. Um, so he got thrown into like a little brig type thing um, when they were in Australia for relief. Um, then his unit ends up suffering in Cape Gloucester and he's sent back um, to, well, he was in... Australia got in trouble and they were like, hey, we really need you to fight. So please act, don't act up. <laughs> so he was sent back um, to Cape Gloucester where he actually got injured and was um, evacuated to Pavavu for medical treatment where he again meets back up with his unit um, in time to invade Peleliu. If I'm saying that right, and this is why I wrote all this down because these, these uh, countries or places are ridiculous to <laughs> pronounce. Um, but in Pillalu, he is actually wounded by a mortar explosion. And in the book, it says on D-Day plus one. Um, and I'm assuming that means on D-Day, like the day after D-Day or on D-Day. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but it says on D-Day plus one is when he was wounded. Um, after the war ends, like he is discharged from the armed forces. Um, he shipped back to the United States after he was uh, wounded by that mortar explosion, um, and then he was discharged. So, like I said, this does take place in World War II. Um, so, for me, this book was not my cup of tea. Um, I prefer Civil War type stuff. Um, I like moments in history, not so much time periods. Like, I like... Um, different types of world history, and I like things in American history, like uh, Pearl Harbor itself, um, and you know, I like the Western times, but World War II is really not my cup of tea. Um, but it was a really good book to read nonetheless. It was hard to read, I think based on um, Robert Leckie's style of writing. Um, it was a memoir, so it's kind of like memory. It wasn't um, like, it wasn't him telling a story, it's almost just like he was sitting here talking to me and you telling me what happened. And sometimes it got a little fuzzy about where we were in the timeline. 
Um, so I would have liked, you know, if this was written in current time, I would have liked for that to be a little more laid out um, accordingly <laughs> and not just kind of like, this is what I remember, here we go. Um, but other than that, uh, there was some good vocabulary used in there. Some of them I did have to Google because it was a little out of my wheelhouse. Um, but like I said, I would have liked it better if it was a story versus an all-around memoir. I'm not a memoir fan. Um, I would recommend this book to certain people. My husband, we share a Kindle. Um, he's actually going to read this book next because he loves World War II. Um, and I recommended it to him because he's all the time like listening to YouTube videos of soldiers, veterans telling their stories. Um, he loves that time period in American history. So, gladly let him read that book. Um, as far as the lesson plan goes, um, I kind of struggled with this because um, I knew that World War II is not mentioned until later in school years. Um, so the youngest that I could go was sixth grade, um, which sixth grade at some places is still considered, you know, elementary ed because it is K through six. But anyway, um, so for my lesson plan, I have it written down here. Um, I chose sixth grade and the course of study standard was social studies 6.6. .6. Um, and I decided to base my lesson plan off of locating ally countries and Axis powers because in the memoir he talks a lot about their allies um, and who the enemy was and that's something that I wasn't 100% sure on because I'm not real sure if I ever was like taught that. Um, I knew who was our enemy but I wasn't 100% sure on like where our allies were in relation to us or in relation to where these wars took place. So I think that would be a good um idea to pull from that is to locate ally countries like on a map and um you know just remember have that knowledge um and then locating key engagements of world war ii so that's like places so um we know per, uh, pearl harbor took place before this book was written or before robert lecky was actually enlisted um, but it's important to know about Pearl Harbor, so I think that would be good to locate a key engagement. And other battles that I didn't even know were that, I didn't know that happened, would be like the um, invasion of Guadalcanal and the Battle of Tenerife. I had no idea those battles even took place. Um, and then the invasion of Peleliu, like I had no idea that even happened. So there's like little battles here and there in World War II that I feel like not a lot of people, especially sixth graders, would know about. So that's another way I can tie in this memoir, um, the knowledge that I learned from it, into a sixth grade lesson plan is to locate key engagements. So like small things throughout World War II that happened that made World War II what it was. Um, so yeah, that is A Helmet for My Pillow by Robert Leckie. Uh, like I said, it was a really good book if it's your cup of tea. Um, wasn't mine, but I did enjoy learning some new things. So, thank you.